customers we've already supplied a set of locks for, so they may have their padlock on the side gate maybe, or their garage, front door and the back door, they maybe got the same key as well. So we've already supplied that customer that system, so they've got the one key that will open all those locks. What happens if they decide to have an extension, or maybe they change the doors that they've got from wooden patio doors to UPVC ones? Well, all they need to do is to bring in this key, and we can then replicate, essentially rather like a photocopier in a way, uh, their existing cylinders to suit this key. So we can supply them a brand new cylinder for their brand new door and they can still keep their existing security key. And this is how we're going to do it. It's quite a surprising that there are around 58 different components to make up this lock. And I thought it might be interesting for you to have a look. So in every chamber of this cylinder, the holes are there denote, each of those denotes to this cut on the key and in each chamber on each cut you have the bottom pin the top pin a spring and the top bung or the the top plug that holds it all in so every time you put the key in that lifts up the key the pins put that one in here so if it's the key is the right key for that particular lock all these pins will produce a completely flat line across the top of the cylinder that will enable it to turn inside. If the, if the pin is too high, such as that, it will not, it won't turn. So that needs to be replicated six times. So in order to do that, we're going to fill up this plug with the correct pins in order to make that line, which is called the shear line, completely flush. Got two is the first one. The next is number one pin careful to put the pointed side down so it lines up with the cut on the key whoops filling around here the joys of getting old five got a five there another two in there and a four in there six to finish so make sure that all that is completely flush, which it is. So we then put that aside for the moment. We put this swivel, this gets come apart, back in. That slides into the centre. That's the part that does the locking. Put that extender part in there. Is not behaving itself today. Put that part in there, that part in here, put that back over there, that will go in on here in the right position. Well, again, can't believe that. <laughs> You're going to cut that, I hope. Oh, well, it's uh, yeah. not behaving itself. Come on. When you when you talk about little detail bits, maybe you could hold them. Hold them a bit further. And towards the lens. Right, okay. So we'll put that in the centre there. That part here needs to line up with the slot on here. I'm just trying to bloody pins out there. It's weird, isn't it, doing it like that? Start again. Glad it's not live TV. <laughs> Finish by now, normally. Oh, that's on there. That's going to fall out again in a minute. Goes on to there. Oh, 
I'm going to insert the cylinder into there, make sure it clicks, which it does. And then what we'll do is get our cradle, which is that shape, it holds everything in the right spot. Put that in there. And then what we're going to do is load up the top pins. We need medium, sorry, I beg your pardon, a long one, another long one, medium one, another long one. I think it goes the other way around, wouldn't it, really? Once all that's done, then we put in the springs. We've done that to make sure that the key turns, which it does. And we take the key out carefully, make sure the whole thing doesn't come apart. Grab the hammer. And what we're going to do is just put the top pins, these plugs that hold everything together, give it a little light tap. Not commit to anything yet, make sure that it's all going to be working before we finish all those down so that they're flush with the top of the top of the cylinder. Sure, that's gonna all work. There we go. Just need to put those bits back together. So we've done that, when you put the retaining clip in to make sure that when you turn the key and take it out that the whole inside doesn't come out with it at the same time. That just clips in on the back there, make sure everything is clipped in. And then we can put the key in and try again, that's all fine. And then what we need to do is it replicate that in the other side with the other cylinder. So now we're going to put the other plug into the cylinder, again put the key in, fill up the with the pins as we did before, with these particular all the pins are level, and again this needs to get put in this way around on here. Click around there somewhere, he says. There we go, that's that in there. And again, what we need to do is to put the top pins in, start off with there. Last one on there, and again, make sure carefully that this is, this is all going to work, which it does. And again, top plugs in. Make 
make sure again that that's going to work and be all right. That's perfect. Always good when a key works. That clips on there. And what we do to finish off is take all those pins down slightly. There we go. New cylinder and a key that works. Let's check both sides. Perfect.